Hello everyone, I'm so glad you are here. I'm so grateful that you would join me watching this video. I wanted to make this quick video just to show you a little bit of how I do my whites. Um, especially when you have a new bumper, you wanna make sure that you're using sealer so you can get the right color match on there. And that's Jay, one of the preppers here at Butts Collision. He's gonna freak out when he sees himself on this video. So I'm starting with uh, sealer doing all my edges and then doing the body of the bumper. So for sealer, you're supposed to let it sit for 10 minutes as per PPG. So what I do is I put the sealer on first and then I would go and wash the car, make sure you're washing the paper, make sure you're washing all around the edges and stuff because you want to make sure that um, nothing is left under all the contaminants and you got it nice and clean. So I put my first coat of base. One of the reasons why I love sealer so much is that the base lays down so nicely on it. It's like the perfect substrate for base. So there I am blowing it off. And as you can tell, I love tacking in between coats because it just makes the job so much cleaner. And you also make sure that the base is dry. I only put two coats on the car and three coats of the bumper just because I'm paranoid. I want to make sure I get good coverage on the bumper. It would be a shame to redo something because you didn't put enough paint on it. So there's my first coat of clear. Um, Seems like it's fast, but I, I let it flash off for five to seven minutes or something like that, depending on the temperature. If it's more humid, I let it flash off more. So there you guys have it. Uh, this is just a quick video that I wanted to show you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be on... I have no idea what it's going to be because I have so much footage, but I just haven't had time to do the editing. But I will get another video up to you guys. So stay blessed. Take care. Subscribe!